Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another FreeCAD tutorial with me, Andrew. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create this rook piece using FreeCAD. So without further ado, let's get to it. First things first, I'm going to select the drop down, click on part design, click on the sketch icon, go to isometric view, I'm going to click on the XZ plane, say OK. Now what I want to do is I want to create as much geometry as I can so that when we revolve it we get the bulk of our part. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the polyline, click on the origin point and move that along on the horizontal. I'm going to move it up and then at a slight angle and right click and right click again. I'm then going to constrain just the bottom of our part to 13mm and if I click on the line I'm going to set that to 2mm. And then I'm going to constrain the vertical 2mm and then 3mm. As you can see we've now constrained the bottom of our part. I'm now going to click on the drop down here, click on end point and rim point, and I'm going to click on the end point of our line, move up, and then create an arc going outwards. And then going to click on the end of our arc, create another line going upwards, and another line, another arc, and then just one final arc, like so. And I'm going to constrain these with a radius, so that's going to be 4mm, this larger one is going to be 53mm. And this top smaller one is going to be 2mm. I'm then going to constrain the 4mm arc on the horizontal by 8mm. And I'm also going to constrain the point where the two arcs intersect to 10mm. I then want to grab the polyline and start creating the rest of our geometry. So I'm going to click M once and twice to cycle through so that we get just the polyline on its own. I'm going to move along in the horizontal, move up in the vertical, and then along again in the horizontal. And as you can see, they are being constrained in the horizontal, vertical, horizontal. I'm then going to move up at a slight angle, in again, back down in the vertical, and then along until the yellow line shows up, which will then constrain it to the center point. And then I'm going to come down and click on our origin point. Right click, right click again. And then I'm going to start constraining. So I'm going to start constraining from these points here and I'm going to work my way around the model. So firstly, I'm going to click on the horizontal constraint, constrain it to 1mm, and I'm also going to constrain this part here to 1.5mm. I'm then going to click on the vertical constraint and constrain this part to 1mm, and I'm also going to constrain the angled line to 7.5mm. On the opposite side of the angled line, we have a straight line coming down and I'm going to constrain up to 5mm. I'm going to right click to deselect the vertical constraint and I'm then going to start creating a tangent between these two arcs and this arc and its line. So I'm going to click on the first larger arc which is here, the 53mm, hold shift, click on the 2mm arc and click on the tangent button and we'll just say OK. We'll click on the smaller 2mm arc, click on the line and click on the tangent button again and say OK. I then want to horizontally constrain a couple of other lines. So I'm going to click on this line here, horizontally constrain it to 7mm. I then want to constrain the bottom of our angled line to the centre of our origin, and that's going to be 10mm. And I then want to constrain the top of our part, or the, the angle, top of the angled line, to the origin point, and that's going to be 11mm. If I then click on the vertical constraint line, click on the top of our part, click on the origin, and I'm going to set that to 46. As you can see now our part has turned green, or our geometry, our sketch has turned green, and now it's a fully constrained sketch. I'm then going to click the close button, make sure our sketch is highlighted, and then I'm going to revolve that around our center point, which is Z, like so, and I'm going to click OK. So we've created the, the basic geometry basically, and now we're just going to add some sort of finishing details uh, to, to bring this to life. Next we need to create a datum point, so I'm going to revolve this around, click on the bottom of our part and click on the datum, create a datum plane. And then go to roll that to minus 90 and say OK. And then going to click on our datum plane and click sketch. I'm then going to create some circle geometry, click on the center line and just create a rough circle. And I'll set the radius to 3 mil. And I'm going to set the vertical constraint from the center point to 46. And then I'm going to click close. 
I then want to create a pocket for our part, so click on the pocket icon and say through all on the drop down and click OK. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on our datum and hide that and as you can see we've got a hole going for our part. This will then start creating the battlements around the top of our, our rook or our castle. I'm going to click on our pocket, click on the polar pattern and I'm going to set the occurrences to 5. I'm going to click on the center point which is going to be our Z which is going to rotate it or pocket it around the center of our, our rook and I'm going to say OK. So now to create the lines that go around the neck of our rook. So what I'm going to do is firstly I'm going to right click on the body and set the appearance to about 50%. And then going to create a new sketch on the XZ plane. Say OK. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the toggle box up here which is going to create construction lines. So they're going to turn blue. And then I'm just going to create a rough circle like so. And then going to set the radius of that circle to 52.5. And now what we're going to do is we're going to constrain the vertical and the horizontal. So on the horizontal, I'm going to set that to 58.42. And on the vertical, I'm going to set that to 32.66. Now what that will do is that will basically follow the neck of our rook. But it's just offset enough to create some minimal lines going around the outside. I'm then going to toggle back from construction lines to geometry lines and on the drop down I'm going to click on triangle. Now I'm then going to start clicking a couple of triangles, about five triangles along this construction line. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click, move in and do four more. Now these can just be rough because we're about to constrain them anyway. It's just as long as they are actually on the construction line. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight all of those and I'm going to constrain the radius, say yes, to 1 mil. What I want to then do is then click on the individual points and I want to create a horizontal constraint. So there we have it, we've now constrained on the horizontal. Now what I want to do is I want to create a spacing between each of these of 5 mil. So I'm going to click on the vertical constraint click on the center points and I'm going to set that to 5 mil. Last but not least, I just want to constrain this triangle to the origin 14 mil. I'm now going to right click to deselect and I'm going to click close. So now what I want to do is I want to revolve our sketch around the center of our part. So I'm going to click on, make sure our sketch is highlighted, click on the groove, click on the Z center point and then click OK. And then I'm going to change the appearance down to zero. And as you can see, we've now got our grooves going around the outside of our part. Last but by no means least, I just want to create some fillets on the inside and on the outside of our part. So I'm going to click on the outside line, like so. Click on the fillet button. It's set to one mil already. And then I'm going to add some reference points. So I'm going to click on this line here. Add another couple of references so and then last just on the inside and click OK. So there we have it a finished rook for our chess set. I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you have give it a thumbs up. If you've disliked the video give it a thumbs down and remember to leave a comment in the comment section down below. Let me know how I can improve these videos. In the next video I'm hoping to create a knight which will go nicely with our chess set so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss a thing. Have an awesome rest of your weekend and I'll see you in the next video.